The following animation shows the installation of new sewer pipes DN600 in an urban crossroad with dense traffic. The whole construction site can be located in a way that only one lane is blocked. At the first stage, the area around the starting shaft is cordoned off to divert the traffic. Due to the compact design of the machine and the small diameter of the starting shaft, there will only be minor disruption to the traffic flow. In this case, the starting shaft consists of a round shaft of reinforced concrete with an inner diameter of 3.2 meters. The compact jacking frame is then placed into the starting shaft and the slurry discharge pump is mounted on a platform adjacent to the jacking frame. The operating container with the control panel and the hydraulic power pack is located on the top rear side of the shaft. A pipe stock is then established and maintained in front of the shaft to feed the shaft crane. The slurry feed pump and the slurry discharge pump are connected between the shaft and the control container and then connected through the separation plant to form a closed slurry circuit. Large stones are crushed by the discs of the cutting wheel. Sometimes fragments are being driven out to the surrounding soil. The product pipes are lowered into the shaft one after the other and connected with snap connectors. The jacking frame works in three stages. After approximately one-third of the maximum piston stroke, the jacking arms return and the main thrust ring of the jack can advance further. After jacking the product pipe, the connecting hoses, which connect the TBM to the container, are disconnected. The jacking frame is returned to its original position and the next product pipe is connected. This procedure is duplicated again and again until the whole drive length is completed, reaching the reception pit. Crossing pipes in buildings are no problem with this technique, as they can be easily overpassed or undercrossed. Thus the machine arrives in the reception shaft exactly at the planned coordinates. In our example, the total of 150 meters of new pipes could be realized with only a minimum of disturbance in a difficult infrastructure. The conventional open laying of pipes would have caused major disturbance and annoyance for traffic and the residents.